Hi friends, I'm Lolly and I'm going to read a story today about animals. Do you guys have any animal friends that you want to have come read the story with us? I do. Here, let's go get all of our animal friends. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. I've got my animal friends. Do you guys have your animal friends? All right, I think we're ready for the book. Today's book is Animals with Insecurities. Now, you guys all know that you're perfect just the way you are, right? So give yourself a big hug. Ooh, perfect. Give yourself a pat on the back. Fantastic. There's all different things that make us who we are, and even if they're different or not exactly what we want them to be, they're what make us us, so we should learn to love them. Now these animals might need a little bit of help figuring that out. Let's see. Animals with Insecurities by Nathan Catlin. It was a beautiful day, but for some reason all the animals seemed sad. Do you guys ever feel sad even though it's a beautiful day out? What's wrong with everyone? Well, began the elephant. My ears are too big. Well, he does have big ears, but all elephants have big ears, right? My hair looks silly. Oh, what a cute zebra. I don't think its hair looks silly. My nose is gigantic. It's an anteater. Doesn't it need its nose? To eat ants? I'm so plump. Oh, it's a hippo. I love hippos. My eyes are huge. What kind of animal is that? Oh, it's an owl. Can you guys make your eyes really big and go, hoo, hoo, hoo? Good job. I'm way too furry. Oh, it's a bear. It is furry, but bears are supposed to be furry, right? It keeps them warm. I have wings, but I can't fly. Oh, it's a little penguin. That's right, penguins don't fly, they waddle. My face is so stretched out, it's a pelican. I think that pelicans have a reason that they have a long beak, too. My teeth are so sharp. Look, it's a beaver. They use their sharp teeth to cut down trees. My neck is too long. It's a giraffe, it does have a long neck, but all giraffes do. I'm so small. A little mouse. Hmm. Wait one second. I thought those were all really great things about each of you. Aren't they? After a moment, the animals all said, You're right. Well, began the elephant. My ears release heat, keeping me cool on warm days. <gasps> That's important. My stripes help me blend into my environment when playing hide and seek. <gasps> That's true. My gigantic nose helps me get my afternoon snack. Look, he's getting some ants. Are you guys having ants for your afternoon snack? <laughs> no, that's just for ant eaters. <laughs> my blubber helps keep me warm in the water so I can swim all day. That's true. Have you guys ever seen a hippo at the zoo? It's so neat. My huge eyes help me to see clearly on dark nights. Ooh, ooh. My fur helps me keep warm in the winter. My wings help me glide through the water. <gasps> Look, the penguin's swimming. My long beak gives me room to store a snack for later. That's cool. My teeth help me cut down trees for building forts. See? My long neck lets me reach the tastiest snacks. Look, he's reaching up really high to get some yummy leaves. My small size lets me go where others can only dream. Look, the mouse is going right into the wall. Gonna go explore some cool places. And as the day turned to night, all the animals realized how truly special each they each are. The end.
finish all of the animals all together. And I hope that all of your animals feel better about maybe anything that was bothering them. Have you guys met all of my animals? Let's introduce you real quick. Here's my bear. He's helped me through a lot. He's nice and fuzzy and really good to hug. We've got mouse. A lot of you guys know mouse. Here's a little sock monkey. He's cozy. This is Hoagie. He came all the way from Texas. And this is Applejack. Some of you guys might know Applejack. Here's my tiger. He's a big tiger. Oh no, Nico the penguin just fell down. Let me get her. There she is. And her favorite friend, that's Harpo the narwhal. She's giving him a high one. Boop, boop. And up here we've got a little fox. We've got Trevor the tiger. And here's my friend, oops, the unicorn. She has type one diabetes. She's got a little insulin pump right there. So yeah, so those are some of my animal friends. Thank you guys so much for reading with us today. Yeah, can you guys give yourselves a big round of applause? Yay, just for being exactly who you are. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you join me again next time. All right, animals, I think it might be time for all of us to go get a snack too. Hmm, what kind of snack do you think we should get? I don't know. Let's all think about it. I think I might need to make a lot of different kinds of snacks around here. All right, guys, I will see you all later. One, two, three.